Um, I am here today to show you how to make a fun little cocoa. It's the opposite. That's what throw me off. Okay, cocoa packet. I hope you can read it. I tried to flip it so it wouldn't be backwards for you guys. And uh, but these are really super easy to make. You just need you can make two out of one piece of cardstock. And if this is your first time you stumbled across my video, um, this is my third week of Christmas projects. It's a series that I'm doing now through December 17th. And each week I'm going to show you a project and it's something fun and different that you can do with paper crafting. It's not just cards. It can be 3D items. It can be fun little packages that you can give to, as gifts. So the best part is if you're an email subscriber, you get this tutorial in your email box tomorrow. So, hey Kimberly, how are you? Okay, so I'm about to switch this to where, okay, sorry if it's backwards. They always say to do it before you go live, so we'll see what happens. Um, so, I use the More Than Autumn set. I have used this so much. Cards, I've made cute little gift card holders. I've made a ton of stuff. And I love using the little words. And I use adhesive sheets to cut them out. So this is definitely should be on everybody's list. Because you can just, you can have fun with it for so many holidays. Um, so... I pre-cut a lot of stuff so we wouldn't have to um, spend a lot of time with me doing that part of it. So I've already pre-cut, whoops, sorry if I bumped it. I pre-cut the um, cardstock and basically you take one sheet of eight and a half by 11 and you cut it down the middle at four and a fourth, and it gives you enough to make two. So, here we are going to score at five and a half. And be sure you're on my email list so you can get this in your inbox tomorrow. What happened there? Oh, it's not all the way in the track. That's better. We're gonna I love the stamp and trimmer. And that's what I thought. Five and a half, six, and then we're going to do nine and three fourths, like so. All right, so we are finished with the stamp and trimmer. All righty. So we don't have an actual current corner rounder, but you don't have to corner around it. I kind of like to corner around mine. Just I think it makes it look a little better. And right here is what's going to lend the room for your pouch. For your hot cocoa pouch. Alright. And then I'm going to do this corner as well real quick. And then let's get our bone folder out. You don't have one of these. This is a craft room must. And if you're new to my crafting, uh, Laura's crafting corner, gosh, creative corner, um, I do online classes. I have a bunch of other videos. This one will be uploaded to YouTube tomorrow, just in case you uh, missed this. It'll be on replay as well. And um, this is a piece of paper from the Snowy Scenes DSP that is super adorable. And it's in um, the online class that I have that I can show you after I'm finished. Because you don't want to miss that. You definitely want to be able to order that. It's a class that you can do at your own pace. And I have all the hard work done for you. You get enough to make... Um, sorry, there's people in the house making noises. Oh, you know what? This is supposed to be four. I guess it really doesn't matter. Okay, so it's supposed to be four, but we'll make it four to four. Let's see here. So now what we can do is bring out 
all our cute little pre-cut cocos. And I think Jasper may come up here and say hi. Let's see. What did you want to order? <laughs> the bone folder or the trimmer? Um, let's see. I'm not sitting, so I don't see it. Because if I if I sit, then I'm going to pull everything my, down here, and then you're not going to see it. So. All right. Let's see. Let me get a little piece of paper so I don't. The alcohol blends will uh, bleed through a little bit, so I don't want to get it on my actual um, cover here, so just while I'm coloring, God, these are hard to pick up. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. I had this all planned out. I don't know why I'm having hot mess express today, but I am. Okay, so I'm using the Poppy Parade because it matches the color. If you ever want to know what is in the colors of the designer paper just look on the back and it will tell you what colors coordinate and I like to do the darker areas first because that's kind of and I follow where stamping up has the line just for shading Let's see here. best part is I've cut more than one so if I mess this up I can get another one all right so I have to start with this and then I go back and I fill it in with the brush tip, which is nice because you have two different tips. The brush tip, and you've got the, the little nib or the bullet tip. So you can get in those nook and crannies without, sometimes I use this, but usually I do that. But what's nice about these blends is see how you can kind of see a, um, So look, you can almost see where I have the marker lines. Well, because it's alcohol, as soon as it touches the other on the paper, it blends in and makes a nice cup. It's all perfect now. And then my light one's in the other room, so I guess we're just going to use the dark for this like I did on the other one. Usually I do the light for the inside, but I've already gotten off camera once. Let me see, has anybody asked any questions? Oh, the uh, more than autumn stamp set. Well, you still have time. There's another month. Lisa, did I send the um, tutorial to you? Oh, wait, that's $50 more. No. Yes, this month, if you spend $50 or more on my online store, then I will send you a mega tutorial. It's got 12 different projects, all focusing on snowy scenes. And even if you don't have that stamp set, you can use the layouts for your cards. And it's just a good kind of a mo motivation, you know, kind of get your mojo going. I'm trying to see what else I need. Okay. So, I pre-cut this out of, this is, whoops, I guess I really don't need that anymore. I have fallen in love with these dies. It's an online exclusive, and they just released some this month, some new stuff that you haven't seen. But this is on online exclusives that they've had for a couple months. It's got a great stamp set that goes with it. But I love all the tag shapes. I have really used this more than I thought. I've used this one a lot, this one, this one, of course. I'll be featuring this one maybe next week or the uh, one of these weeks. Because so I have a tag, tag trio I can't wait to show you guys. But anyway, that's those. And now we are going to, because I want to cover that up with the cup. What did I, oh, there it is. And then what I did is I put an adhesive sheet on the back. So when I peel this off, if you guys have ever seen a Xyron, then it's basically a Xyron without the machine. And I just pop those out. And then it says Coco down here. 
And now it has become a sticker. I'm gonna put this back on my magnet sheet so I don't lose it. And then I'm gonna pop this up with dimensionals. Dimensionals are one of my favorite things because it adds just, just enough depth to make your projects shine more. Oh, there's one thing. I like to do this because you see how much that flaps up. So now it stays down. And now we got this little tag. I'm going to scooch over just a hair. And then I'm going to put just one dimensional up here. And because when I put this down, I want this to be even with the tag. So there we go. Probably should scoot that over a little bit more. I haven't pushed it all the way down yet. Okay. Da -da. Okay, there, let's do that. That looks better. Okay, and same with this, with the whipped cream. I'm gonna go ahead and put a dimensional on the back. And then I'm gonna pop that sucker up there. And I suggest having at least two, if not four of these. I have four of these at all times because I absolutely love, love Wink Stella. See if I can get that to where you can see it better. Let me scoot this over. It's probably even better lighting. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see the wink. Okay, so now we've got that. And I probably should have stamped nothing's, oh, this calls for before. There's an ink pad somewhere on this abyss, abyss of a desk. You know what? We're just going to use the black. I'll find it right as soon as I stamp this, right? All right. So then we put this call for, and that's okay. You know why? Because I have a nice fine tip little marker. So I'm going to go in and just touch that up. Doesn't look perfect, but there we go. Okay, this calls for cocoa. And then with the little candy cane, what I did is I took my paper snips and I kind of did a quick little snip in there to kind of, when I put it on there, it will look like it's actually in the whipped cream. I'm going to put a glue dot. I use these and I let the warmth of my finger release it. And there's the candy cane. And now we're going to take the 3 8 inch. Oh, I need to put the cocoa packet in. So you put this in. Then you get your little mini stapler out. And you can use a regular stapler if you don't have one. But just to make sure you don't get your... Um, actually, I kind of like this a little bit bigger. Gives you a little bit more room. Okay, so then you put your little... I put a chocolate in there. A Ghirardelli. And then I got some little mini candy canes. And then we just need the ribbon now. Um, I'm an eyeball person. And it drives everybody crazy, but I said 18 to 20 inches is probably what you'll need for a good bow. There they are. Gotta have my ribbon scissors. So if I tie this, let's see if I can show you guys how I tie a bow. Because everybody asks me to do bows all the time. My first secret is to put a glue dot down where you're going to put your knot. Because now you don't need anybody to be here to hold your hold their finger there while you do this bow. So let's see here. All right. So I did. I didn't even show you. It was. I do it again. So make sure these are straight, not twisted. I'm gonna go right over left and under. 
and it should make this crisscross. And then right, and then the left side up and under. Come on, get in there. All right. Okay, that is not my best bow. Let me try that again. <clears throat> oh, that's interesting. Oh, I'll use that for something, I promise. Must be a full moon. Can't get anything going my way today, but oh well, what do you do? Okay, so th that's the look I wanted. Okay, so I'm just going to hold it. I'll do bow tying a different day. <laughs> I have to make a separate video just for that. But see, that turned out much better if I wasn't thinking about it because I just. There. All right. So now we have our little cocoa holder. And I took the cocoa out of this one only because the cocoa's across the room. And I didn't want to. Oh, wait. There's something magical missing. Peppermint dots, which should be back in stock soon, if not already. These have been amazing little additives this year. Just make everything so cute and festive. Okay, there, now we're finished. So, be sure to, um, I'm going to put the link to my, um, sign up form for my email so you can get this tutorial delivered to you tomorrow in the inbox in your inbox and also be sure to sign up for the snowy days it's my november online class and one of them is going to be this cute little bag I think I, oh i have lotion in there. i was like what do i have in there <laughs> and then I'm all about gift card holders. So I used the, I basically cut out the penguin because there's dies that go with it, but there's a cute, the little pocket, mini pocket dies. Love those. The second I saw those in the annual catalog, I knew I had to have them for things like that. And then you'll also get supplies. So you'll get enough to make two of these, two of these, two of these. Oops, I was holding it. <laughs> Cute little window card, super easy. And I think this might be my favorite part of this whole online class is this adorable 3D item. But you only get one of those. <laughs> um, just for shipping reasons. So basically what comes in this whole kit um, is I type up a color tutorial and step-by-step, -step, you'll have a video that you can reference that's pre-recorded. You'll also get enough of the, um, you'll have to use your own stamps because I cannot stamp an in ink, but anything that's not in the snowy day, um, or snowy scenes bundle, I will cut out like this little circle, this one, the pocket and the, all the cards and the envelopes. And then this also, once you learn how to make it, you can go from six by six is what, to, what made this one. You can do a eight by eight, 10 by 10, or 12 by 12, and make another bigger box or bag. So I'll put all the links under this video, and I will get everything ready and emailed out tomorrow evening so everybody will have it so they can make more of these cute little things for everybody and stocking stuffers. And I appreciate you guys hopping on. Thanks. Bye.